This video will cover a couple different types of word problems, the first of which is a geometry word problem dealing with perimeter. When you read a problem that says a rectangle, and it also mentions the word perimeter, right off the bat you're going to want to draw a picture of the rectangle. The other thing you want to do is come over here and name your two dimensions. You have length, you have width. We can't let length be L and width be W. We can't have two different variables in our problem. So one of these has to be what I call the plain old variable. And it's not an arbitrary choice. It's based on what the problem says. It says the length of the rectangle is 8 feet more than the width. You're told something about the length. You are told nothing about the width. The one you know nothing about has to be the plain old variable. If width is W, now we can go back to the problem and translate this. The length is, is is your equal sign, 8 feet more than the width. Once you have labeled this over here, come over to your picture and put it on your picture. Width is W, so these two sides should get W. Remember a rectangle, your opposite sides are equal. So these are both W, these are both 8 plus W. So remember, the plain old variable needs to be the dimension you know nothing about. Keep that in mind. The plain old variable needs to be the dimension you know nothing about. I said the length is blah, 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 blah. You know something about the length. Width was not mentioned. That's why it's the plain old variable. Once these are all labeled on here, now we'll deal with what perimeter means. Perimeter means just add up all the sides. So I'm going to do the top. That's my W plus 8 plus the right side, that's my W, plus the bottom, plus the left side, all has to equal 44. We finally have an equation that we can solve. Go through there and group up your like terms. We have W, 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 W makes four W's. 8 plus 8 is 16. This is now a plain old two-step equation. Subtract 16 from both sides. Gives us 4W is 28. Solve that by dividing by 4, and we get W equals 7. Now be careful you're not finished. This says W is 7 feet. That's the width is 7 feet. What I asked you to find was the length. And then to find out what the length is, you need to plug that in right here. If W is 7, 7 plus 8 is 15 feet. You can check this by adding this up. 7 plus 15, that's two of the sides, plus another 7 plus 15 for the opposite sides. If you add all that up, you get your 44 and you know it checks. The length of a rectangle is 6 feet less than its width. If the perimeter is 68 feet, what is the length? Same setup as before. Draw your rectangle. Name your variables over here, length and width. Decide which one is the plain old variable. Go back up here and read. The length is 6 feet less than the width. The dimension I told you nothing about was width. That's why width has to be the plain old W. Go up here to do your translating. The length is, is is your equal, 6 feet less than the width. Now, if this word feet bothers you, just ignore it. That's just going to be the unit we put on our answer at the end. So this is really just translating 6 less than the width. So to do less than something, that means we need to subtract 6 from the W. Once we have these named over here, we go over and put them on our picture because it's just going to be easier to get our equation from the picture. The width is W, the length means both of these two opposite sides are W minus 6. Now we're ready to do our equation. The equation of this is going to be add all of this up equal to 68. So that's our top, which is W minus 6, plus the right side, which is W, plus the bottom, which is W minus 6, plus the left side, which is W. All of that equals 68. Combine your like terms, gives us 4W minus 12, because negative 6 plus negative 6 is negative 12. Solve your equation by adding 12 to both sides. Gives you 4w is 80. Undo that multiplication by 4 by dividing by 4, which gives us w equals 20 feet. That's the width is 20. What I asked you to find was the length. So we can come up here and put width is 20, but we are going to have to substitute in the fact that 20 is w. 20 minus 6 gives us a length of 14 feet, and our width was 20 feet. The width of a rectangle is 9 inches more than its length. If the perimeter is 48 inches, what is the width? Well, there's our setup. 
There's our picture and our names. This time though, let's read this. The width is nine inches more than the length. The dimension you were told nothing about was length. That means length has to be your plain old variable. And then we need to write an expression for width. Width is nine you know, inches. If you don't like that, get rid of it. Width is nine more than the length. So width is nine more than the length. There's our expressions. Bring them over to the picture. L on both of these. Width is L plus nine. Then we're ready to write our equation and start solving. We have the top, which is the L. We have the right side, which is L plus nine the bottom, which is L, and the left side, which is L plus 9. Add it up to our perimeter of 46. Combine your like terms is 4L plus 18. Solve this equation. Subtract 18 from both sides. You have 4L equals 28. Divide by 4, so L equals 7 inches. That's the length that is 7 inches. But what you're being asked to find is the width. So we're going to have to plug that 7 in for L. 7 plus 9 gives us 16 inches. And that is our answer for the width. So here are your steps for solving perimeter word problems. First off, draw a picture and then name your variables. Add all the sides and set it equal to the perimeter. Solve that equation. And then be sure to find the dimension you've been asked to find. You can pause the video right here to copy those steps down if you want to. We're going to do one more of these, a little more complicated in the translation. The length is 3 feet more than twice the width. If the perimeter is 66 feet, what is the length? So there's our picture. There's our expressions we're going to have to fill in for. Let's read up here. The length is la 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 la. Didn't tell you anything about the width. That means the width is my plain old variable. Go back and read. The length is three more than twice the width. Twice means two times the width. So these are our expressions that we're going to have to put over here on the picture. So the width is my w, my length is 3 plus 2w in both of those places. We're ready to write the equation, add all those sides up. Now be careful, on the previous ones we automatically ended up with 4w, but we're going to get more than 4w here because we have 2w plus w plus another 2w plus w actually gives us 6w plus 6 equals 66. And this is a simple two-step equation to solve now. Subtract 6 from both sides, gives us 6w equals 60, divide both sides by 6, W is 10, but what you were asked to find was the length, so we're going to have to plug that 10 back in there. And here's the arithmetic for that, 3 plus 2 times 10. Order of operations tells me to multiply first, so that's 20. 3 plus 20 is 23 feet, and that is the expression, or that is the answer for my length.